do you know you can use the best free photo editing software on mobile? I'm Carl Coaching Epic, coaching you to exceed your potential in graphic design. Today I will run over PhotoP on mobile. Before we start, make sure you subscribe with notifications set to all so you never miss a video. So start off by going to your browser on your mobile device. So for me, this is Safari and typing in PhotoP.com into the search bar. So when you load up PhotoP, then you can pick the right resolution for you. I'm just going to pick a thumbnail size and you'll see the screen is very, very small. So what you want to do is minimize as much as possible. And they do have ads on the side, which is a bit, a bit annoying. Um, but you don't need to worry too much about this because PhotoP is designed for PC. It is better than all other mobile apps I have seen. So I'm going to drag in a background so you can pick them from your photo library or from other places so like Apple devices have uh, the file section now. Um, so you can pick them from there and I'm just going to add a little adjustment. So lowering the opacity, making the background black and I'm going to blur it a bit because I'm making the thumbnail on mobile. Uh, because I'm making the thumbnail for this video, the mobile video, I'm going to drag on a phone. It's got this white background. I'm just going to use the magic wand tool on about tolerance, about 150, and just tap on it to remove the whole, tap on the white bit to remove the whole um, white background. Then I'm going to position it on the right hand side. I'm going to go to the EFF and select outer glow. I'm going to put this on a dark pink. Pass it at 100%, blender mode normal, spread at 21% inside the 141 or thereabouts. Then I'll add text for free mobile. I'll use a bold font for this and you can just go up and search just like in normal photo P. Then I will add an outer glow of turquoise, blend mode normal, angle at 90, distance 10, spread 100 and size. 27. I'm now going to add design below this and I'm going to use a dark pink drop shadow. The opacity 100%, blend mode will be normal, distance of about 2, spread 100, size 27. As this video is about photo P, I'll add their logo and a red arrow going towards the phone, then click file, save as PSD and PNG or whatever file format you like. I've only used PhotoP on mobile for a limited amount of time, but it's very good from what I've seen and better than other photo editing softwares on mobile. I've only experienced one crash and it is quite tedious compared to PC because your fingers aren't, can't get an accurate point like your mouse can and you have very limited screen space compared to like a monitor. However, that is always going to be a problem in mobile designers. I recommend you mobile designers out there to use PhotoP and let it help you exceed your potential in graphic design, which is why you need to watch my complete guide on screen now as mobile and PC PhotoP works the exact same. Make sure you like, subscribe with notifications on and I'll see you next week to learn about how to use my PhotoP templates.